How's it going guys? Today we're going to be doing a little review on the Eufy RoboVac 30 vacuum. Hopefully I'm pronouncing the name right, but this has been our vacuum for the past year now. So I'll be giving you guys a quick little run through on how we've enjoyed it, some of the upsides and some of the downsides. So first of all, it does come with this remote here and you can see some of the patterns that you guys could choose for this. So if someone makes a mess, say you have some kids, they make a mess, this will basically just do a spiral around the targeted area, wherever you place it. Over here, this will do perimeters. So it'll just go around the perimeter of your house, kind of self-explanatory. And then here, this is kind of the setting that we just keep it on. It does like a snake around your house. So it does have a timer. So you guys could set this up so it runs at night or it runs while you're at work. But personally, we just, press the power button on the actual vacuum whenever we need to use it because we do have a dog and I don't really feel comfortable letting our dog roam around with the vacuum. I think our dog would probably just assume it's a toy. So let me show you the vacuum real fast. So this is what it looks like on the bottom. All right, so it does come with some extra brushes. We actually snapped one of these a while ago, but uh, these new brushes, they've been working for about six months. It has really big wheels, so we've never had a problem with it not being able to get up on top of a carpet. It's worked pretty well. All right, so here's the brush that sucks everything up and you guys can easily get to it. And pardon, it is kind of messy right now, but I'm just showing you, we have been using this for a year. So just like that, we got the brush out. All right, so it was beeping at me, so I just turned it off with the switch. But basically, I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to get to this, just in case it gets more tangled than this. I do suggest cleaning this out every time. So it's super easy to get this out. Just slide it out and then, you open it like so. This is the filter. You guys want to make sure it stays pretty clean. I literally just emptied it, so we're good. Then slide it back in, make sure it actually locks, and you're good to go. And here's the power station where it charges. It automatically comes back to it whenever it's low on battery, which is really sweet. There are a bunch of settings on here that we haven't gone to even experiment with. Because to be honest, whenever we use it, we just kind of come to the actual vacuum. We press power and we just let it do its thing. And it does have a bumper here, so if it runs into any of your items, it will know to turn around. It does a pretty good job. I will say if you have super shaggy carpets, sometimes it will get a little bogged down with that. But for the most part, it's worked really well. It even comes with magnetic strips, so you guys could set like boundaries. If you don't want it going under your TV like me, just put a magnet strip there then you're good to go and you can buy more of those if you need to. Anyways, let's go turn this on by my carpet so I can show you what it actually does and how well it works. But yeah, here is our vacuum in action. As you guys can see, it has no problem with our carpet. Anyways, that's really all that we have for the review today. I hope you guys found this video helpful.